Hello YouTube, and welcome to another edition of Rob's Arcade. As per usual, I'm your host Rob. Now the subject matter of this episode is geared more towards my older player twos, but you younger player twos, don't worry, you can follow along just as well. We're still going to do an art class, and we're still going to do a trip to the Classic Game Showcase where we spend some time with an awesome video game. The topic of this episode is... Oh no! Oh great. Looks like I'm stuck in a Family Guy cutscene. I better show everybody what we're going to be drawing before something terrible happens. Okay, Player Twos, on this episode of Rob's Arcade, we're going to draw Peter Griffin from Family Guy. Again, we're going to use the same process we always use. The first step is a guideline step where we're going to take our pencil and we're going to press very lightly. Eventually, we're going to go and we're going to erase all these pencil lines. So the very first thing that we're going to do is very simply, we're going to draw a circle, a very wide circle. Inside that circle, we're going to draw a curved guideline right about here that goes through just like this. Since the image that we're drawing, Peter Griffin's face is turned, we're going to draw a little bit bigger on this side and a little bit smaller on this side. The next step we're going to do, starting right about here, is we're going to draw a backwards letter C. It goes just a little bit past where the guideline is. On top of that, we're going to draw one smaller circle whoop, and another smaller circle. Okay, actually, player two, again, this is a good thing about why we do this in pencil, because even sometimes I make mistakes. That was a little bit too far off. We're going to draw a little bit closer to the middle of his face, like so. So there you have it, we have his eyes and his nose. Right about up here, we're gonna draw a little curve. And starting right about here, we're gonna draw a diagonal line, then a curved line that goes right to about where underneath the eye goes, another curve that goes right about there, then we're going to draw another diagonal line and two curved shapes right here. We're going to draw a little curve right in the middle where our guideline is right here and another little curve right here to signify where his tongue is. I'm going to expand on this just a little bit because again I made a slight mistake and again this is a good thing about us doing this in pencil because the curve right here at his mouth wasn't large enough so when we eventually finish the image and stuff it would look like he's not necessarily happy. So again we'll go over this again because this is honestly probably the most difficult part of this whole image. So we're going to start right here with the diagonal line, draw a little curve, bring it up and around here, again down and around here, go over and then we'll draw his shin, his, excuse me his chin, and there you go. Inside these circles that we did up here, we're going to draw two other circles and two eyeballs 
inside of there. Characters on Family Guy don't have eyebrows, which kind of is weird because they're still able to be expressive by having their eyes, their eyelids, make different shapes. So by Peter's eyelids coming underneath, down like this, kind of adds to the happiness of his face. It's really weird how that works out, but it still looks good nonetheless. So we're going to do a little curve inside there. Next up we're going to do his little hair, so we have a straight line to here. We're going to do a curved line to here, and then we're going to do a line that slightly curves down, and then goes around there, the guideline, and a little bit over the guideline right here, right to about the ear. Inside there, we're just going to draw a little straight line, and then we're going to draw right about where the eyeball is. We're going to draw a curve that goes to the outside of our original circle. We're going to bring it down to about here. We're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to follow it, but we're going to go a little bit outside of the circle until about there. Curve line right here for his glasses and a straight line that goes right from the end of his glasses to underneath his ear. Then right about here, we're going to draw a little V. Again, we're pressing very lightly with our pencils. And then we're going to follow this around here. Excuse me, player twos. Follow this around to here. Follow this around to here. Bring it down and around to here. And up here. Curve it right here. And then go up to here. And there you have it, player twos. Step one of drawing Peter Griffin is complete. So the next step, what we're going to do is we're going to take our black felt to pen or black magic marker and we're going to ink over only the necessary lines. We're going to clean up this image a little bit. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to start in the middle and I'm going to go over his nose. Then I'm going to go over his eyes and then we're going to do it one continuous line so this way we're not having anything sketchy or the line not connecting. The area for the glasses. There, eyeball here, eyeball here. Go over his hairline. We got a little line here. His ear right there. His cheek. The shape of his head. We're gonna go down and around here and around here. A little curve there, bring that over here. Curve here, bring it over here. I know I'm moving a little fast player twos, but technically all we're, all we're doing right now is just we're erasing the original line, or I'm sorry, we're tracing over the original lines that we did in our image. Again, just the lines that we need, not the guidelines. So we've pretty much already drawn the image. All we're doing right now is just finishing it. So we're gonna go over this. Follow us around here, and again, I'm going to do this as one continuous line on his chin, his tongue, end of his mouth, and I'm going to shade that in. Just like so. And there you have it, player twos. We've just drawn Peter Griffin. Now we're gonna wait a few minutes, wait for the ink to dry, and then we're gonna take our erasers and we're gonna erase all of the pencil lines, guidelines, everything, and we're just gonna leave only the ink lines. I hope you all had fun drawing Peter Griffin. I can't wait to see your masterpieces. Great job, player twos.
On this episode of the Classic Game Showcase, we're going to spend a bit of time with a more recent game as we check out the Family Guy Pinball Table for Pinball FX3 on the Xbox One. Pinball FX3 is a pinball simulator developed and published by Zen Studios and released on multiple platforms in 2017. In a nutshell, this game is pretty much what happens when you take real pinball tables and put them in a virtual environment. This title comes with the table Sorcerer's Lair, and there are many other tables available via DLC, including some based on very popular IP such as Marvel and Star Wars. For this showcase, we're going to focus on the table based on the animated series Family Guy. The goal of this game is generally the same as any other pinball game, score as many points as possible. You can do this by using the flippers to shoot the ball at targets, bumpers, ramps, and more. If you lose a ball, you lose a turn, and the game ends when all balls are lost. What makes this game stand out from the many other pinball tables is its presentation, as this game is a Family Guy fan's dream. The graphics represent the television show beautifully, and the constant stream of audio clips from the show will make you laugh out loud at times. The gameplay even interprets classic moments from the show, like the bathtub gag with Cleveland. No, 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 no! Players must shoot the ball at specific ramps before the bathtub hits the bottom and shatters. If you hit the chicken multiple times, you start a multi-ball with a Peter ball and a chicken ball, which replicates one of their numerous fights from the TV show. Players can even trigger a pretty cool mini-game in which Stewie must shoot down a bunch of helicopters before taking on his arch-enemy Bertram. There are quite a few other side missions as well, which add a bit of variety to this tape. Family Guy Pinball is a very accessible game. Whether you're a pinball wizard or a casual gamer, this game is a lot of fun. Pinball FX3 is available for Windows, PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, and Xbox One, and I highly recommend checking this out if you get the opportunity. Till next time. And that's a wrap on another edition of Rob's Arcade. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video to help this channel grow. Also be sure to follow Rob's Arcade at the social media links listed in the description below. Now as far as the next episode goes, we're going to be spending some time with a very popular video game character who's making his first cinematic appearance in a sequel to a very popular movie based on a very popular video game. I know all you player twos know exactly who I'm talking about. Until then, keep drawing, and I'll see you all next time at Rob's Arcade.